Hey there, it's Ryan again. I am going to show you where the speaker locations and how to remove the dash in a 2014 Dodge Caravan. That is what I have. And I know some models are very similar, so hopefully this will help you uh, locate those positions and see how easy it is. Uh, the only tricky part is really the door. That does take a little time and a little finagling, but uh, ultimately it's not a very difficult process to replace the speakers in your caravan. Here we go. All right, so to get into the dash, uh, you just have to get a tool underneath this part right here and pop it up. There we go. And just along the whole thing, they'll pop right out. Uh, once you've done that, you can lift it up and pull it towards you and you'll have access to the speakers uh, in the in the uh, dash. To put it back in, you've got to make sure all your clips are lined up, including this one out here. It needs to be underneath there, there we go. And I'm check the other side. There's little tabs uh, sticking out on each side, so you kind of have to bow the unit when you're putting those back in. Push it all forward. And, and we're back. Pretty simple. Okay, so uh, to access the rear panel, very simple. There are four pins here and here, two in here, two here. The rest on this side over here is all tabs that slide in first. So the reverse would be to pull this out and slide it out. So your tool and uh, you know, wedge it in here, kind of get in from the top, and quite honestly, I was able to get my fingers in there the first time and pull it right out, but the tool is kind of nice to get the bottom out. So those four come out, and then you slide it forward just a little bit. You can remove the uh, seat belt by taking it through the, uh, the tab here, and then you have access to your rear speaker. Very easy. Uh, the only hard thing is this screw is a little tough, or this screw here is a little tough to get to. Um, just make sure you have a screwdriver with a very thin shaft, not a larger uh, one that holds a, a head. It'll it'll slide in there a little easier. Um, and to put it in, it's the same thing. As I said, you've got these tabs here. They slide in first into these corresponding holes, and then the whole thing goes back in. Put the seat belt in first. Slide these three in place. And then, oh, and there, I did forget, there is one more tab up here as well. This tab and these tabs slide up into these guys, and this uh, this tab holds this part down. So, uh, once again, let's get it in there. Seat belt, got those tabs, and then to put these tabs in, you kind of push down while you're, while you're pushing back on it. Got those four there. Everything was lined up. It's back together. Pretty simple. Um, not too difficult. It took me a minute. Okay, to access the speaker in the front doors, there's six benigns right here. First, you have to take off two little tabs, uh, little panels. One of them is right there. Super easy to come out. The other one is behind the door handle. When you lift, when you pull the door handle back, you can access the piece that lets it be removed and it comes right out. After that, there are two screws, one here and one here. Those are a Torx 16 head. They are a star pattern, a Torx head. So those will need to be removed first. All right. Once those are removed, there are pins all around the edge of the door that need to be popped off um, from the uh, from the the door frame. So I usually start down here in the corner. Uh, usually get to the best leverage, get it back there, and start pulling it pulling it back. Once you get the bottom ones done, it's a lot easier to get the rest of them done because of the leverage. There we go. So there's one right here. 
There is one right there, one right here. There's one right here, here, and I believe here and here. It's also easier if you roll the window down. All right, that helps you get to the top part. It's not so compressed between the window, uh, the window and the uh, and the door panel. So once you've gotten all those broken free, there are going to be some wires attached to to do the light and the controls. But you're gonna lift straight up. Uh oh, one other part I did forget about. This guy right here. Make sure you pull it forward. It should be loose. And then the door should lift up. And off. You can then um, pull off some of the, the, the harnesses. I was able to actually still get to the speaker by spinning it, propping it up taking the four Torx heads out. And those those four Torx heads there are Torx 20s. So the door had a Torx 16, those are Torx 20s. And then you can access that and remove it and replace it. All right, I'm gonna put it all back together. The wiring harnesses also have clips that they sit inside. So when you put it back together, try to make sure it gets into those clips. It'll keep it nice and secure. Also line up your door lock mechanism. Do that first, it helps you kind of get it in place. And then get your first, your first pin attached. You can see it right here. And then go around. pieces in and then of course the two screws sometimes you kind of have to push on the door to see the hole that this lines up with so you got to push on that panel while you screw it down it'll grab the grab the hole that it's going into That just pops in place, and same with the other one. So we'll just pull this back, push it in place. It's all back together, and that's how you do that. The caravan has four six by nine speakers, uh, two in the back, two in here, and then some three and a halfs in the dash. All right, for the dash, super simple. Uh, you probably don't even need a tool, but um, it does help sometimes. So you get the tool right in here, pry this out. There we go. So really it's just these two tabs here and the two flaps that kind of sit under here. You've got one, two, three, four screws and your stereo comes out. Uh, you've got your, uh, you've got a couple plugs back there as well as the antenna. So don't forget to plug the antenna back in if you're putting it back together. Just put it back together, it's back in, super simple. And there you have it. Those are the six speaker locations and the dash. Hopefully that helps. We'll start that over. <laughs>